Hello and welcome to this pandas tutorial series, five days of pandas. Now, Messi versus Ronaldo stats. That's a very interesting uh, data set we are going to look at today. And we are going to learn a lot about how to analyze data using pandas, which is a Python library for analyzing data, manipulating data, exploring it and visualizing it, turning the results into charts so um, we are going to use pandas and the data sets we are going to use are from Kaggle. You can go to kaggle.com, go to data sets and maybe look for Messi versus Ronaldo stats and download it. Or alternatively, you can also download a lot of other interesting data sets. These are the ones that I've been using lately. Very interesting. So this one has been uploaded by Kamal Hitlani, thanks to her. And um, once you've downloaded that, we can start. Go to colab.research.google.com. I'm not going to use any IDE on my machine. I'm just going to use what Google provides, which is something like a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, just sign in your Google account. And then on the file, under file, you can click on new notebook. You can also change the name to whatever you want. Then you will have something empty. Once you have that, let's uh, get the CSV file that you have unzipped from Kaggle, drag it and drop it here. You see on the left hand side, drag it and drop it here. And remember once this runtime is over, that is once you close uh, your, your tab or uh, the session is uh, closed, this file will disappear obviously, but not your code. Okay. Now in Pandas, we are dealing with the concept of a data frame, which is the most important concept about data structure. How Pandas structures and organizes data is through either data frame or a series. Series is just like a column, but a data frame is like a table, like an Excel sheet or a CSV file where you have columns and we have rows. That's a data frame. So when we have a CSV file, Excel file, JSON, whatever, we turn it first into a pandas data frame so that we can apply what pandas gives us. Now, let's see what I mean. Remember, we have downloaded this CSV file. So first, let's turn that CSV file, let's read it and turn it into a data frame. How, <coughs> sorry, let's create a variable, call it df, whatever you want, but df is a convention pd and oops by the way i haven't imported pandas yet my mistake so let's import pandas as pd i thought i imported before but no import pandas as pd this is an alias now let's create a uh, df variable so we used pd that is pandas dot read because it's a csv file let's look at these options read underscore csv excel uh, html json so we are going to read a csv file right because this is csv and uh, columns what is the name messi ronaldo dot csv so you can either press on this or just shift enter and it runs it and now our csv file is stored as a data frame pandas data frame into df if I want to check the first few rows just to see how it looks like, I can say df.head, we can use the head method. And if I press shift enter, you should see the first five rows in our CSV file, our well data frame. You see here, Messi, Ronaldo, Messi, Ronaldo. And it has these columns, Liga assists, appearances, minutes and others, champion leagues, goals. So maybe I want to just check the first two rows. So I would explicitly mention two here. So shift enter. And now we have the first two rows here. You see? What if I want to have the last five rows? For that, we need to use a tail method. DF, data frame tail. Press shift enter. And these are the, the last five. You see, index 13 to 17. I can also say, give me the last two rows and this is what happens. Great. Now, sometimes you have a huge um, spreadsheet or a CSV file. 
So, and with a lot of columns that can't even fit in here. Maybe you want to have a better kind of, uh, better information, more detailed, technical information about your data set. So for that, you, you should use info method, df.info. Let me get rid of these, comment them out. And df.info, let's see what it gives us. It gives us the class, it's a data frame. It has 18 entries, that is 18 rows. How many columns? 10 columns, good. These are the names of the columns. And this is the count, the number of the non-null rows. That is out of the 18 entries, how many are not empty? 18. It means all are full. There is no missing data here in this, under this column. Also the rest, all have 18 non-null. When the number of this is equal to this, it means there is value in each cell. There's no empty cell. Now, what is the type of the data stored in these columns? The data type. For season and for player, we have objects, which is more like strings or textual data. So the, the name of the season and the name of the player, Messi, Ronaldo. Then you can see goals and other information have been stored using an integer data type. Integer. Great. Now, what other information can I have? Let me comment this out. And another way of uh, uh, taking a look at the number of rows and columns, which is shorter, is just df.shape. And no parentheses after is needed. So df.shape gives us this simple tuple, which is 18 rows and 10 columns. So if you wanted to just have a quick look at the number of rows and columns, you can use df.shape. Another piece of information is about data types that we just saw. But you can also use df.data types to only look at the data types of each column. And you can see objects and then integers. Now, another piece of information would be about statistics. So for example, all these are numeric values, these columns. So if I want to have a very general, some, some statistics, applied to these columns, I can use df.describe, it's a method, so parentheses, let's see what happens now. It gives me, look, for La Liga goals, the count is 18, that is, we have 18 cells with La Liga goals, 18 here, all 18. What is the mean of all the values under this column? 35.5. That is, in every season, apparently, they scored an average of 35.5 in both of them. Then the minimum goal they scored in La Liga was 25. The maximum number of goals scored in La Liga, I mean Messi or Ronaldo, was 50. And you can see the same type of information about these columns. And when describe does some statistical methods, that is why it has chosen only the columns which have integer uh, data types. Now, <clears throat> so these are some general things, very uh, important things people do normally before uh, getting into the analysis, just to make sure they understand what they're dealing with, how many rows, how many columns, what type of data there is, what is the name of the columns, and all that. Okay, now that we have read this, let's see how do I select a subset of a data frame. What do I mean? Let's grab this head that is the first two rows of the data frame. So we have players, Messi, Ronaldo, goal, La Liga goals, and Champion League goals. Maybe I want to choose only one row, which is player, or La Liga goals, only that. How do I choose this column only? So for that, we can use the F and treat it like a dictionary, how you treat the keys. So a square bracket and the name, which is Liga. And you can see the options here, Liga goals. And if I press shift enter, it prints out the Liga goals only, you see? 
Now I can save it inside another variable just to make sure that later I can use goals for example to refer to this. That is what I can do now. Now what if I want to use several? For example I want to choose Liga goals, what well, player, La Liga goals and uh, Champions League goals, the three. So now let's see here let's start with uh, player La Liga goals and CL goals but it doesn't work if I if I press shift enter you will see so this doesn't work because I have more than one value now here I need to put them inside another pair of brackets now it works remember this now everything these three columns would be saved inside goals let's just print the head that is the first five rows of goals now press shift enter you should see this look now I have player Messi Ronaldo Messi Ronaldo Messi and La Liga goals Champions League goals you see we have, I have access to these now I have this data frame which is only about the La Liga goals and the Champions League goals and the player let's go a bit further what if I want to check um, I want to only get the information about Messi like all the rows which contain only Messi that is how do I filter specific rows from a data frame how do I choose only the rows where there is Messi how do I do that or Ronaldo for that matter so I would say let's say Messi equals so we have a data frame right and we have a player right because Messi is under player if that data frame player that column is equal to who Messi that is Messi if this column the value is equal to Messi let's see what happens well first let's get rid of this again I will do it later so let's say DF player equals Messi if I shift enter I get a list of booleans true false true false that is Messi Ronaldo Messi Ronaldo see Messi not Messi Messi not Messi Messi not Messi so it means I want the true ones only right so what I can do I can say Messi equals and DF DF and remember here I can put this condition of true false now so it will go through the data frame it will check for this condition if the player equals Messi returns true and returns that row puts it inside this data frame if it's false it skips it I can do the same with Ronaldo now so Ronaldo now here let's say Ronaldo now let's check Messi Messi dot head and if I press this you should see I have the first five rows of Messi you see Messi Messi all Messi and the same would happen with Ronaldo now what if I want to check the La Liga goals of Messi that is I want to sum up all the values under La Liga goals so I can do it like this I can say Messi how is it again Liga yes Liga goals dot sum some method and oh that's messy not mess sorry messy messy shift enter and then it gives me 329 what if I do the same with Ronaldo how many La Liga goals Ronaldo has had well until uh, yeah so 311 I can do the same with Champions League right so I can say plus let's just say plus Champions League right so here instead of Liga goals let's say CL the number of Champions League goals and let's do the same plus Ronaldo Champions League sum 
Okay, give me a sum of the goal, both champion leagues, and that's 412. And for Ronaldo, I think it must be a bit more. 416 goals, both in La Liga and in Champions League. So Ronaldo has scored more goals. But I think if you check the assists, you will find a different result. Why don't you do that? Just go for it and check the results for this as well. Okay, now, the last piece for today. How would you, how do you think we would choose only the, let's say, uh, goals, for example, only those rows where the goals, the number of goals is above 30. How would you choose that? Can you do it? Well, I will do that now. So I can choose it either for Messi, Ronaldo or for the whole data frame. Let's go for the whole data frame. DF dot, or sorry, DF um, square brackets, legal goals, right? Legal goals. A condition is above or equal 30. That's a condition. And I can say DF. Now we put that condition inside our data frame, right? Like this. So I'm not saving it anywhere. So I could save it in something else, like above 30, but I don't. Now let's see. So we have these. Interesting. So we have Messi, Messi, Ronaldo, Messi, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Okay, that's interesting. So we can see this, right? Now, you can simply add it, let's say 50. I don't think they have above 50, let's say above 40. Look, Messi, 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 Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. So that they're equally, wow. And Messi is the one who scored like 50 times here, wow. Interesting. Okay, so that was for today. And I really encourage you to to keep on doing this. Go for, I don't know, another data set and check the same thing that I did with other data sets for today. We'll keep on doing more and more uh, in the next four days. So you will learn a lot. I hope you like this. Please, 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 just don't forget to like the video. Thank you. Yes, that was it. Thank you for watching and listening.